wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. The Hardys are keeping the their hometown jumping. The police, anyway. The Fayetteville Observer reported the Thursday uh, that on the day prior to Matt Hardy's arrest on August 20th for driving while intoxicated in Moore County, North Carolina, he was involved in a car crash on US-1 in Southern Pines. Uh, so, as long as they hurt themselves, I don't really give a crap. Anyway, North uh, Carolina officer found that Hardy had run his 2006 Cadillac off the road, crashed into the guardrail near uh, South Bennett Street, and he claimed to the officer that a car ran him off the road, causing him to crash. Well, he's probably talking about his own car, but anyway. Uh, on Monday, Matt was arrested at the Raleigh-Durham International Airport and charged with driving while impaired. According to the arrest report, police received the complaint of a possible drunk driver late Monday afternoon who almost hit two drivers three separate times. When the officer spotted uh, the driver, Hardy's car swerved onto a curb and then back onto the road. Probably just, you know, probably a little rodent ran out in front of the car. He was going around and nah, loaded. All right, the latest, latest issue of Power Slam features an interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin and the Hall of Famer is asked if he envisions himself returning to the squared circle for one more match. He says, oh, man, look, I'll tell you, you know, this much. If I was going to do anything with WWE, I would do something with Punk, he responded. Uh, he said, like I said, I love what he's doing, and there's a lot of parallels. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but if I could cherry pick my opponent, and all the stars line up, I would love to work the program with him. That's a hell of a compliment for Punk. All right, events.org is offering fans a chance to get up close and personal with CM Punk as a philanthropist uh, foundation. Philanthropist. Anyway, is holding an auction to meet the straight edge superstar prior to WWE stars. Uh, taping December 26th at Allstate Arena in Chicago. That says Straight Edge Superstar prior to, and then it says uh, get up personal with Punk. See him. I don't know, I get something confused. All right, why I got that in the middle of Hardy's deal, I don't know, the officer pulled over, <laughs> I'm back to J Matt Hardy now, the officer pulled over the automobile and said Hardy had a slow slurred speech sleepy eyes and very uh, lackadaisical demeanor. It was sort of like me. Anyway, he took steps to, to walk the you know test line and after taking two steps, lost his balance, failed to stay on the line and uh, then they, uh, like me. So anyway, they gave me a breathalyzer test. It was negative for the presence of alcohol. Alcohol, that's all. The North Carolina Highway Patrol uh, drug uh, recognition officer examined the former TNA um, wrestling superstar and determined that he was under the influence of drugs. He uh, was arrested, hauled to the Wake County Detention Center Raleigh, uh, uh, in Raleigh. Hardy is now scheduled to appear in district court November 30th. <laughs> they were going to have to hire more policemen there, don't you think? MMAfighting.com has uh, excerpts from Triple H's interview that where he did with MoviePhone.com uh, last week. And it should be noted that the question wasn't the original uh, in the original interview uh, that we uh, talked about, but there's Triple H's response when he was asked about UFC. Now why they admitted it from the uh, other interview, I don't know, but MoviePhone asked him, how do you, uh, what do you think WWE and pro wrestling needs how they need to evolve as UFC and MMA grows in popularity. He says, I don't think we have to evolve. It's uh, two totally different things. I think now especially there's this thing like, oh, it's very similar. He says, I don't see any need to evolve what the UFC is doing because it's quite frankly something uh, that the fights are long and boring. They're long and boring. They're short. And the guy's lying around, and sometimes uh, the fights are over fast in five minutes. Do you remember uh, last week on, uh, I think a week before on uh, Raw, where uh, Triple H was uh, confronting uh, Punk, where they did doing the signing, and he called it, he said he had a, uh, he's going to beat his, uh, what did he say, uh, skinny, fat ass. 
something's wrong. Anyway, he said, I've always thought one thing about us. Uh, if you look at us solely from a sports standpoint, it that it is always give you a, we always give you a good show, never going to give you a bunch of crap game. So they've always said that about the UFC. It's, uh, you know, no, you know, not much fireworks, you know, flame, a lot of talking, and which is true. The matches could only last just a few, min few minutes. And uh, then you look back on uh, how long in-ring action goes on from stand to man with the stopwatch hand on uh, Raw and SmackDown. Get kind of short on time there, too. All right, Joe Staten, Staten, the vice president of financial planning and analysis, has reportedly left WWE. So that tells me they have no financial planning now, no analysis. Tim Whistler, the son of, who's that? Wrestling legend Larry Zabisco. He's now training at the uh, I Believe in Wrestling School down in Florida, where Larry is trainer. And Whistler's also been working with a, as a ring announcer. And Cody Hall, who the hell's that? Six foot eight son of Scott Hall also trains there. Uh, internationally, it's believed that there's less than 50-50 chance of Austin Wrestling at WrestleMania 28. Right now, the plan is to build a big uh, show around uh, Miami uh, as John Cena and The Rock and The Undertaker going for a 20-0. Wouldn't it be nice to see Austin and Taker go at it? Could be. All right, WWE has hired Jim Germanicos, winner of The Biggest Loser Season 4. Anyway, he's supposed to help employees at the WWE headquarters in Stanford lose weight and get in better shape. Uh, Jim is running a multi-week program for the WWE staffers and the company and also upgraded their gym with more equipment. So apparently, <laughs> the staffers at the, the Halo head office, they're getting to be a fat ass. WWE creative team reportedly now consists of two groups. We got the home team and we got the road, or the traveling team, my fault. Home team uh, mainly consists of uh, Stephanie McMahon, Brian Gerwitz for the you know the tapings and uh, raw uh, live shows. The traveling team is being headed by SmackDown uh, writer Ed Kowski and head writer of Raw Dave uh, Kapoor, which is uh, Kapoor is uh, Rajan Singh, by the way, and a lot of newly hired soap opera writers. Uh, and believe it or not, Air McMahon. What's an Air McMahon? That's the plane's name. It is now being used uh, for Vince McMahon, Triple H, Don Laurinaitis, and a few others. Probably a very few others. Alright. Oh, in an update, this is kind of a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear it from uh, TNA, there's a special announcement from Hulk Hogan as he refers, uh, as he was on Impact tapings in Knoxville, Tennessee. Hogan teases that he would have more details on his last appearance in the ring at those tapings. The tapings are uh, back. Uh, going to be in uh, September 21st, uh, Tennessee, somewhere in Tennessee. Uh, would air somewhere around October 6th, uh, going into Bound for Glory. It's kind of teasing about his uh, retirement, and then Hogan also puts over James Storm, Robert Roode, and others. So whether there's actually going to be a retirement, dah. His toes will be face up when he retires. There's no confirmation yet on Hogan's retirement, all part of the storyline, or is it stepping away from the ring for a while in TNA in general? Uh, we don't know. Hogan and uh, Bischoff's contracts with TNA are set to expire in the, the fall, and there's a feeling backstage that Hogan's been looking to leave the show from some time now. Maybe he's going to go with that little midget show. Did you see that the other night? Eh, it was okay, kind of corny. Former head writer for uh, WWE's NXT show, Jen Bloodworth, recently quit the company. Bloodworth started working on WWE's website and had been working in the creative since 2007. And why is a lot of people leaving? Are they cutting back on salary too? Uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to throw out real quick regarding the main event at, at the Night of Champions of Sunday this week's officials is still de debuting, uh, de debating uh, which match, uh, match is going to be last and uh, Triple H's match as kind of leading candidate for you know the main event I guess even though there's no title there's a COO title thanks for clicking you guys I gotta go